Okay, good morning. It's the 4th of July, 2021. And I just want, inspired by Cyprian in Romania and Nick, M0NTV in the UK, I decided I should sort of document my building of what I'm calling the Mythbuster uh, transceiver. Um, I've talked about Mythbuster in the podcast and uh, and on the blog, so I won't go into the details of why I'm building. I'll talk about it really stage by stage. And the latest stage that I've been working on is the um, the balanced modulator product detector and carrier oscillator slash BFO. So I've taken this circuit mostly from Farhan's uh, bit X20. And here you see I have built a variable crystal oscillator using one of the crystals, the lowest frequency crystal of the 20, um, 5.242 megahertz crystals that I bought from Mauser. Uh, I built it into the simple little circuit. It's got one transistor that's the uh, oscillator and one that's a, a buffer. I'm using one of the 33 microhenry coils that Farhan left me a few years ago as the main coil in the VXO. And I'm using a, um, looks like a 15 to 60 picofarad a variable cap as the uh, or trimmer cap as the variable capacitor in this device. Now, for the actual uh, product detector um, balance modulator, it's this is from a little board that I built when I was working on the the, uh, the product detector for my Lafayette HA six hundred A. I eventually went with a diode ring mixer, but I had built several little two diode singly balanced mixers, and I decided to use one in this circuit. This is the same circuit that, that Farhan uses in the BIDX20, so it fit in quite well. I just glued it to the board and then used some of this um, solder wick to connect the ground, so we've got one ground plane. But it's got a it's got one of Farhan's um, tri-filler 33 microhenry uh, coils there. It's got two diodes, it's got a little 150 ohm pot. And what we have here is we have, basically the oscillator goes into one port. RF, which is signal, which is uh, kind of, you know, signifying the, uh, the RF that'll come from the IF amplifiers on receive comes in here. And then you should have audio coming out here. It works quite well. And uh, I'll try to, to show you what I'm talking about here. So. On this port right here, I have a 5.240 more or less uh, energy coming at, at zero dBm from my um, uh, Hewlett Packard 8640B signal generator. Thank you, Steve Silverman in New York City. Um, and then, of course, we have the 5.240 energy coming from the oscillator here. And that should produce audio coming out of this port. So I hook up my oscilloscope here. And wow, let me just show you. I'm going to move the camera here so you guys can see the results. But it's pretty cool. I'm going to move the camera over here. There we go. Looking up. Boom. Audio. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune... The 80, HP 8640. I'll show you show what I'm doing here for real. I'm tuning this thing. I'm going to tune this up and down around around 5.240, and you're going to see audio. I have the um, the scope set up to look at audio, and it's the audio coming out of that port on the um, singly balanced modulator. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to tune down in frequency. Boom! There's zero beat. Okay, now, and then go up here, wait, up. There's zero beat. Look, there's zero beat right there. Hold on, I can get pretty close. Look, there's, there's like zero beat. There's like no audio coming out right there. And that's at 5.2398, which is right where I have the oscillator set. All right, so if I go up a little bit, we go up there. And then if I go down to zero beat and go to the other side, boom, there he goes again, the other side. So it's, it's really pretty nice because you can see how the oscillator frequency and the RF 
local oscillator frequency in the RF is combining to produce audio, which is exactly what we need this stage to do. So there we go. There's the BFO and carrier oscillator on the um, on the the, the evolving um, MythBuster uh, transceiver. I'll build another stage today. I think what I'm going to do today is build the receive audio section, and I'm going to use one of these things, one of these little LM386 chips. I got them, I think 10 of them for 10 bucks, and I'll build a little audio preamp that'll go ahead of it, and then I'll just pop this thing in, and Bob will be my uncle, and this audio will be coming through here, and uh, it'll hopefully be enough to drive speakers. Then I have to, then I, I've already built the, uh, the filter and the um, IF amplifiers. So the only thing that will remain at that point to get the rudimentary receiver going would be a 20 meter bandpass filter, a little bit of RF amplification. And, um, and then once I get the receiver going, I'll, I'll probably build the circuitry for 80 meters and the transmit circuitry. So little by little, and I'm trying to learn as much as I can from each stage. I think the next video will deal with the, the filter and the termination insensitive amplifiers. Okay. Thanks a lot, 7-3.